and we're live with this man named Cavill Road, recording artist, multi-instrumentalist, guitar player, and everything else known to mankind. So how are we doing today, uh, Cavill Road, or on this fortunate evening? Oh, I'm doing wonderful. How about yourself? Doing fine and well. Well, that's good. So, uh, there's some word going around that uh, you're working on an album and you're close to being done. Is that true? Well, I'll be happy to answer that, but I do want to say thank you so much for your time and for dedicating your 4th of July evening to interview me here. Yeah, so the, the album is nearly complete. We're down to the last phases of the production. Uh, over three-fourths of the album has already been fully mixed and mastered in post-production and it is ready but we're just waiting for those final stages uh, that we anticipate is going to be coming to close very very soon with this album so how, how much work went into this album Can oh a tell? lot of work went into this album this album as a lot of people know will feature Bridget Kalen um, a lot of people have been following me know about the single I released. The album will also feature a, a version of her as well, a kind of a different alternate version, so to speak. So I worked with her and that started all the way really in 2020, trying to see if there was an interest. And then it kind of went over into January and February when I made a pitch to her to see if she would be interested. And then after the pitch, we finally seemed to get things together to do a, a first version. I went to the studio, had to scrap that version due to technical error, and then re-recorded it and finally was able to get her in a good enough position with everything she's been going through to record it. And then everything kind of came together and it, it sounds really good, I'm proud of it. But yeah, so that was a long answer. But yeah, basically it started in 2020 and a lot of the songs were written in 2019 and 2020. And then they were put together in a final product. So, um, so how many people do you have playing on this album? Is it just you? Is it a band? Is it, um, what, what kind of things can we expect? Uh, then you're uh, featured with uh, Bridget Kalen from Louisville, Kentucky. Well, yeah, as, as I said, I'm very grateful for her feature. But outside of that, I didn't want it to be a very uh, feature-heavy album. I did reach out to some other people to try to be involved in it, but it just kind of fell through, and I wasn't feeling that there was a need there. So the majority of the instrumentation I did myself, with the exception of I hired some string players and uh, some other instrumentation here and there to kind of fill in the, the songs a little bit. But the majority of the instrumentation I did on my own in and, the studio. And, and of course, uh, around this time, you're, you're coming down to pandemic we had uh, mm -hmm. last year going on this year yeah. and everything kind of like that and you were getting in there just like everybody else but more you know you like man this is going to be my dream right here right right well I think everybody kind of felt that way during COVID and you know in terms of going through that whole process everybody was kind of grateful I mean, there was times during COVID where I thought I, I was going to, it's like, you know, is it going to be zombie apocalypse? Am I going <laughs> to die in this place? Right. I mean, you really thought about that, and it was it was kind of a dark place there during the strict quarantine because you couldn't go anywhere. You couldn't right. do anything. Except for uh, eat. And, and, and except and for eat. You, I mean, you couldn't go to the gym. You couldn't go to the movies. You couldn't do anything. Right. You couldn't even really go outside. And then when you did go out, you had heavy police presence everywhere. Right. So you just kind of like, felt like almost like a- uh, Trapped in prison, solitary Police body. day, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so I mean, you went through all that. And while I was doing that, of course, worked on the Deep Truth album and other projects, other instrumental projects. So I was back to back. 
And then came out of that in the fall and then immediately really got into the mindset of doing this album and really have been working on that ever since the, the fall of 2020. Keeping you straight, kid. All right. So, um, you know, and, and that's the whole thing with me as well. You know, I've been working on my own stuff and all that. And yeah, you just uh, got your album released not too long ago, didn't you? Well, it's on pre-order coming out on August 6th and all that good stuff. And my things behind the scene uh, going on with that, you know. And that's how it is with yours right now. And tell us a little bit more what, what what's your inside scoop on working on this project trying to build your connections back up and ever since you know everything opened back up well i don't i don't know if a lot of people know but in 20 2018 2019 i had worked on my first real studio album and everything was done in the studio uh in 2017 i had recorded some demos that got played on the local radio um uh, but it, I had done that album, and that album, it didn't fall together the right way because the construction of the actual production wasn't as tight as it needed to be. Right. And then going into this album, it was, it was like I really wanted to make this album mean something production wise and, and it needed to be uh, you know big quality wise and all yeah that. i mean i really didn't want to like limit myself as much as i pressed to to like thinking so much about being on the clock and right. so i was able to do that with this project and i think it's i think it's definitely going to show that the project will be enhanced because of it and not suffer you know quality wise because of you know making making budget or other monetary concerns the sole focus as opposed to the quality <laughs> 